What's up everybody, Old School NYC Gamer here once again at the Classic Gaming Expo 2014 and thank you for tuning in to Tabletop Times episode number 21. And today ladies and gentlemen we're showing you yet another unique tabletop that was released by Bandai Electronics in 1983 and that is Pingo. Now of course if you played the arcade version you probably already know how this game plays but I will show you some of the uh, very unique, well I say unique, the very simple controls right here. You, you know, you have your start button and it's also your attack button. You got your power here and then your sound and then your forward directional pad. So, you know, there's not really too much to the game itself. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay and give you some of my thoughts and we will be right back. Okay, people, so without further ado, let's check out Pango. And I do apologize in advance for some of the glare that you're seeing up on the screen right over here. Well, you know, with the lighting going on here, this is the best I could do. So without further ado, let's check out Pingo. Okay, so you can see right there, it's doing my thing. You want to kick the uh, ice cubes over and, you know, destroy your enemies. I do got to admit, though, I haven't really played this game in a long time, so I'm probably going to suck at it. So, yeah, let's see uh, what I could do here. I got to kind of just figure out what my next move is going to be. But yeah, I mean, like, I gotta, I do honestly gotta say, though, for an uh, arcade conversion, this is actually not that bad. Just waiting for that one bugger right there to step off so I can kick the uh, cube over. But I guess that, that wasn't gonna work. So I'm just gonna have to destroy some of the other blocks to get to uh, my enemies over here. I do gotta say it's a little bit hard uh, to kind of differ differentiate the uh, the blocks and whatnot, but you know this gives you a uh, idea of what this would be on the tabletop. And I gotta say though, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be originally. Everybody, so you know, uh, let me I'll just go back and give you some of my thoughts about the game, and uh, you know, just let you know what I think about it. Well, everybody, that's it. Thank you so much for checking out Tabletop Times episode number twenty-one. And I do appreciate everybody for tuning in, checking it out, you know, seeing what this little tabletop is all about. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, as always, feel free to leave them down at the bottom. And you can always check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Daily Motion. And that's about it. So have a good one, everybody, and take care. Cheers.